Welcome back to That Place with Moonstalker. Ruby Kuzland is at Ostagar. This is Dragon Age Origins. Chapter 2, Episode 4. Recently, Ruby Kuzland finished her escapades in the Kokari Wilds, collecting some ancient scrolls and three vials of darkspawn blood. Then she finished her joining ritual. Davith and Jory both perished during that ritual. Now she's going to see about buying and selling some items. Hello again. Is there something you need? Some supplies, perhaps? Let me see what you have. Let me know what you'd like. All right, let's do weapons first. She'll sell the iron dagger, the balanced greatsword, Warden's Longsword, the Elm Longbows, the Arrow. Armor she'll keep for now. She's not sure what she's going to need or not need. Uh, one Gray Iron Chainmail is all she needs right now. She'll sell one of those. Right, Mud Idol can be given to Alistair. Sell some gems. All right, almost 43 gold. It right. doesn't need lesser spirit bomb. Let's see. I think she's pretty well situated right now. Hmm, she could get a lesser injury kit recipe. That could be useful. But not right now. She'll save her money. All right, let's go see what this meeting's about. Logain, my decision is final. I will stand by the Grey Wardens in this assault. You risk too much, Kaelin. The Darkspawn Horde is too dangerous for you to be playing hero on the front lines. That's the case. Perhaps we should wait for the Orlesian forces to join us after all. I must repeat my protest to your full notion that we need the Orlesians to defend ourselves. It is not a full notion. Our arguments with the Orlesians are a thing of the past, and you will remember who is king. How fortunate Marek did not live to see his son ready to hand Ferelden over to those who enslaved us for a century. Then our current forces will have to suffice, won't they? Duncan, are your men ready for battle? They are, your majesty. And this is the lady from High Ever I met earlier. I understand congratulations are in order. Thank you, your majesty. Every Grey Warden is needed now. You should be honored to join their ranks. Your fascination with glory and legends will be your undoing, Kalen. We must attend to reality. Fine. Speak your strategy. The Grey Wardens and I draw the Darkspawn into charging our lines, and then? You will alert the tower to light the beacon, signaling my men to charge from To cover. flank the Darkspawn, I remember. This is the Tower of Ishal in the ruins, yes? Well, who shall light this beacon? I have a few men stationed there. It's not a dangerous task, but it is vital. Then we should send our best. Send Alistair and the new Grey Warden to make sure it's done. You mean I won't be fighting in the battle? We need the beacon. Without it, Loghain's men won't know when to charge. You see? Glory for everyone. You rely on these Grey Wardens too much. Is that truly wise? Enough of your conspiracy theories, Loghain. Grey Wardens battle the Blight no matter where they're from. Your Majesty, you should consider the possibility of the Arch Demon appearing. There have been no signs of any dragons in the wilds. Isn't that what your men are here for, Duncan? I... yes, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, the tower and its beacon are unnecessary. The we circle will of not Mage trust I... any lives to your spells, Mage. Save them for the Darkspawn. Enough! This plan will suffice. The Grey Wardens will light the beacon. 
Thank you, Loghain. I cannot wait for that glorious moment. The Grey Wardens battle beside the King of Ferelden to stem the tide of evil. Yes, Caelan. A glorious moment for us all. You heard the plan. You and Alistair will go to the Tower of Ishal and ensure the beacon is lit. What? I won't be in the battle. This is by the King's personal request, Alistair. If the beacon is not lit, Terran Loghain's men won't know when to charge. So he needs two Grey Wardens standing up there holding the torch just in case, right? I agree with Alistair. We should be in the battle. That is not your choice. If King Caelan wishes Grey Wardens to ensure the beacon is lit, then Grey Wardens will be there. We must do whatever it takes to destroy the Darkspawn, exciting or no. I get it, I get it. Just so you know, if the King ever asks me to put on a dress and dance the Remigold, I'm drawing the line. Darkspawn or no. I think I'd like to see that. For you, maybe. But it has to be a pretty dress. Hmm. The tower is on the other side of the gorge from the King's camp, the way we came when we arrived. You'll need to cross the gorge and head through the gate and up to the tower entrance. From the top, you'll overlook the entire valley. <sighs> Sounds easy enough. We will signal you when the time is right. Alistair will know what to look for. Can we join the battle afterwards? Stay with the Terran's men and guard the tower. If you are needed, we will send word. What if the Archdemon appears? We soil our drawers, that's what. If it does, leave it to us. I want no heroics from either of you. How much time do we have? The battle is about to begin. Once I leave, move quickly. You'll have less than an hour. I know what I have to do. Then I must join the others. From here, you two are on your own. Remember, you are both Grey Wardens. I expect you to be worthy of that title. Duncan, may the Maker watch over you. May he watch over us all. Alistair approved for the first time. Will miracles never cease. All right, let's look at our map. It's almost directly behind us where we need to go. There's a tower of a shell. Have to cross the bridge. All right. Alistair. Well, there he is. Hmm. Alistair, I think I'm going to give you a better sword. And maybe a bow if you don't have one. There, and I get plus eight. Including the shield, if I ever. Hope you appreciate my family heirlooms. Ruby thinks to herself. He's really not very appreciative of anything Ruby does, at least up to this point. Finally have a little bit of approval for what she was saying to Duncan. Plan will work, Your Majesty. Of course it will. The blight ends here. There's sleep going on, it looks like. Perhaps that's Grizzle.
Can't say I blame him. For not wanting to be in the front line. Let's into. cross the bridge and get to the tower of Ishal. Push them back! You will fall! That was close. That was close. Looks like Alistair and Pookie got hurt back there. Now they just have to get you. help us. They're everywhere. You. You're Grey Wardens, aren't you? The tower, it's been taken. What are you talking about, man? Taken how? The Darkspawn came up through the lower chambers. They're everywhere. Most of our men are dead. Then we have to get to the beacon and light it ourselves. Okay, friendly fire. At normal level, area effect spells by mages will do partial damage. Not as much as to your enemies, but it will do a fractional damage to your party members. So you have to be aware of that. Yeah, he's going to do fiery weapons. Um, Alistair uh, leaves his own devices for now. Let's look at the mage spells. Tactics. Let's do controller. I like controlling the situation. Um... Leader higher paralyzed, that's good. Normal higher lightning. Okay, self being attacked by a melee attack, and the mage will use a flame flame blast. Have him do ranged. Away from the enemy, hopefully. And now we'll send Ruby up to scout. Once again, she's looking for the experience. She doesn't want to share it with anyone. Got it. No chance at all. You're gonna regret this. I'm, to like her, I'm sorry. sorry. Am I too quick for you? Yes, you are, Ruby. You are too quick for him. Uh. He's right behind you with a battle axe. Uh, pay attention to him. Oh. Someone's gonna. Okay. Fine. Sure 
backstab. I'll get on it. That's a good plan. We like plans like that. Death row. There's an archer up there. At least one. Get up and see if we can do something about that. He says hello. And here's some dirt in your face. Backstab. Another one behind her. Okay, take a potion. Ouch. Just call me! He's a reaper! Cursor. Okay, there we go. That's right. Come on. Okay, my boots, gray iron. I'll get on it. City coating. Handy. Which runs out of the others. Let's see if those uh, boxes help. Iron dagger. And five coppers, not too much. All right, let's get the bow out. Our health bar is back up to normal. And let's shoot him in the back. And pull out our blades. Finish them off. Take some poison, use some poison on your legs. Stun. And do a do weapon sweep. And throw some dirt in his legs. And backstab. And backstab again. Flurry. That'll teach you. I think he's past learning anything, Ruby. All right. What's up here? We got some archers up on those platforms over there. Let's see if we can draw their attention and get them to follow Ruby. Hi! How you doing? No? No follow Ruby? Okay. I guess we'll have to bring the fight to you then. <laughs> Fun. I love how desperate you are. Your best. Flurry. Fetting! And run away. There's a big herlock chasing Ruby right now. She wants to get out of range of the archers before she turns to deal with him. And let's put some dirt in his face. See how he likes it. I'll get on it. And backstab. And venom to stun Ooh, potion, that hurt. That's good. Got him. About ready to have her take a potion. And she lopped his head. The old head lop maneuver. Time to beat feet, regain her health bar, catch her breath. Not waste a potion. There's something she needs to loot anyway. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? All right, her health bar is going up.
Getting close to going up a level again. Let's, let's see how Alistair's doing. Oh, he's getting pretty close too. He does get experience, just not as much when she gets the kills. Right now, Ruby is... <laughs> on a mission. She wants vengeance and she wants it... Now. <laughs> Anybody else that crosses her or her family. Stun him with his back to her. So she can get on her back Let's see what you're made of. Now's better than later. So what's he made of? Sugar and spice and everything nice? Probably not, huh? Yeah, seems to have cleared the area by herself. Let's see if there's any loot down here that's hidden. Not seeing any. Alright. Time to move into the tower. Need to get all the way to the top so we can light the signal fire. Save. All right. Everybody, move over here. Stay. Now, Ruby will go to her bow. I see. There's a trap. A trap. Okay, she took that out. Now she's running back. Sounds like somebody threw a fireball. Must be an emissary in there. Yep, it's burning. Oh, yeah? Okay. That guy's a good shot. You about got Ruby down already. Okay, they're coming to play. And dual sweep. I'll get on it. Right. Just move out. Let's find an emissary. Alright, select everyone. Take off the hold command. Select everyone. Everyone go there. Flurry. And do Pookie, take a potion. Get on it. 
Save. is coming. Alright. Take out the hold command. around the corner. Don't see anything. Peek around the corner. A little further. Seems clear. Nope, it wasn't. Howdy. Back tack. I'll get on it. Or tried to anyway. Flurry. <laughs> Private documents. Maybe someone would pay you to get them back. Or to blackmail somebody with. Silver bracelet. That's a gift for somebody. Okay, I've slowed down the tab button, see if there's anything we're missing in this room. Nope, don't see anything. Continuing on. Hide here. Okay, look around the corner. There's one, two back against the wall, one there. And that's all she can see. Okay, let's go to bow. Swing back around this way. Let's see what we can see. I'm sorry. Am I too quick for you? Let's go ahead and level up while she's not in combat. She can't do it when she's back in combat. So, right, one, two. And we'll put one to cunning, I think. Maybe not. Hmm. I think we're going to go all dexterity again. This is level 6. Weapons expert combat training. And momentum's a good one. Hmm. 
Yeah, I think we can, we are going to go with momentum. Now this is a sustained ability. I keep them separate from my instant abilities. Uh, it's more of a way of fighting than a specific attack. Back to the bow. I don't like using it except in emergencies because it does use a lot of stamina. Don't see them. There they are. Oops, that's the door. Go to overhead view so I can get a better shot. There we go. You'll get no mercy from me. Alistair wanna blow. Oh goody for Alistair. Um we'll go ahead and put that in dexterity, I think. Now we'll put it in strength. And master combat training now. And he now has shield balance. This'll be fun. You didn't foul him. Why not? Damage with bone arrow and with her daggers because her dexterity looks so good. You're gonna regret she also has it! Pretty good defense. Probably no more than one more Genlock in there. As soon as her health bar is up, there we go. Nope, there are none. Collect the loot. Save. His breath. What are these darkspawn doing ahead of the rest of the horde? There wasn't supposed to be any resistance here. Weren't you complaining that you wouldn't get to fight? <laughs> hey, you're right. I guess there is a silver lining here if you think about it. At any rate, we need to hurry. We need to get up to the top of the tower and light the signal fire in time. Tyron Loghain will be waiting for the signal. Right. Okay. Let's see what we're facing first. Hmm. Wooden crate. And a chest lock. I'll get on it. Notice the bow isn't got fire on it. That's because the mage's spell only affects melee weapons. Darkspawn! Kill them all! Do you want them to sleep? Oop! No shield Ruby doesn't like shield bash. Got it. She does like flurries. I'll get on it.
Now's better than later. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? They don't have much experience points. They're very low ranking. But that's all right. Can mind. I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Sure, Ruby. Would you? I'd appreciate that. Got it. Hello. What is a horror as I rip you apart? Another fourteen pointer. Relatively low ranking. What are you Got playing bow away for, Ruby? Alright. Daggers and do weapon sweep. So you can get off my back. Weapons. On your last <laughs> Now's better than later. Bow and arrow. I'll get on it. Get on it. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? On your guard, wretch! Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Got it. There he goes. <clears throat> There's one hiding back here still. There he is. It's a good day to die. This'll be fun. It was kind of fun, wasn't it? Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? I've been waiting for it all day. I'll get on it. in here. Oh, another one of these rooms. No end to these blasted things. I think we're going to go daggers. Momentum. And do up and sweep. <laughs> Deadly. 
to get into morning shit. You're in a little over your head! Cocky, I'm afraid. Taking on all five of them. Now's at once. better than later. Ruby, what were you thinking? Trying to take on all five at once. That's just silly. You listen to me now. Got it. Oh, Pookie went up. Yeah. Um. And I'll give him another <clears throat> Constitution, I think. Gain better be ready to charge as soon as we light the signal. The king is depending on us. Oh, I left the momentum on. I shouldn't have done that. It takes like 30 seconds for it to cool down so you can use it again. Now's better than later. That was Ruby's kill. Stupid mage. I'm sorry. Am I too quick for you? Just call me the Reaper. <laughs> okay, it's getting interesting now. Let loose the dogs of war. You too, Pussy. There'll be combat going on somewhere, maybe, yeah? Somebody over there still. Now's better than later. There he is. Water blades. I'll get on it. Back tag. Let's see some blood! You're in a little over your head! That's right. You tell her, Ruby.
Ruby's been hanging out in too many taverns, apparently, the way she talks. Got it. Sounds like she's from the other side of London. Whatever that means. All right. Should she or should she not? She should not. She should be cautious. Ah, look he there. Maybe she can pick him off. Well, the angle's not right. Breaking a sweat already! Ha! That's right, come to me. Now's better than later. <laughs> Uh, sometimes your attacks can be interrupted when you're shooting a bow. And get off my back. And dirt in the face. Better than later. Here's a tough looking guy. Surprise. How you like them apples? Yeah. Ginlock Alpha. He's elite. Probably a really good bow person. So we're gonna hide to the side here. Pull out our blades. Right, Ruby? Here he comes. He thought Ruby got scared and ran away. Back tack. Dirt in the face. More back tack. With some poison slum down. Where'd he come from? Huh. Potion. You'll get no mercy from me! And a potion. Face. All right, all right. Back deck. <laughs> Headlock. Watch it bounce across the stone floor. I'll get on it. Got it. Save. Let the puppies out. So you don't want dogs to do to you. Back there. 
Twinklies. This must be a hospital or something, all the healing kits and things they have here. Beds too. All right, all right. Hi. That's what Arnold says. Back tack. If I can get away from the door. Get on it. Everybody get over here. Alistair, let's see what you got. Um, crossbow you. Chainmail gloves. His armor class is 11 right now. Uh, chain my boots and chain mill steel. Still eleven. Talent cost less to activate, so that didn't really make too much of a difference. Hmm. All right, we'll go with that. <clears throat> um, save. Go to bow. Save. Uh, this is the last level we're headed towards.
That doesn't look good. Never interrupt an ogre when he's eating. Okay, first of all, Alistair, charge, kill, do a shield pummel. Puppy, attack, wizard man. Um, see if you can paralyze this thing. And Ruby, shoot Off arrows. I go. Okay, we'll have the wizard man take a potion, because we like his magic. Otherwise, Ruby probably wouldn't even share. Oh, Alistair, since you're up and about, won't you grab a necklace? Mud idol, protect against any cold spells that Ogre's gonna throw at you. Just joking. What is your command? Alistair, you take a potion too. You need help? Wizard, um, you might want to run like heck. Unless you're completely stupid. about done and flurry oh I think Alistair stole Ruby's kill Alistair you the beacon is over here we've surely missed the signal yeah I'm sure we did here's uh, some nice stuff oh let's light it quickly before it's too late all right just let me grab a few items and then we'll light it quickly before it's too late That. And here we go. Oh, yeah. Sound the retreat. But what about the king? Should we not do as I command? Let's move.
Ah, your eyes finally open. Mother shall be pleased. Back in the wilds, of course. I am Morrigan, lest you have forgotten, and I have just bandaged your wounds. You are welcome, by the way. How does your memory fare? Do you remember Mother's rescue? I remember being overwhelmed by Darkspawn. Mother managed to save you and your friend, though it was a close call. What is important is that you both live. The man who was to respond to your signal quit the field. The Darkspawn won your battle. Those he abandoned were massacred. Your friend, he is not taking it well. My friend? You mean Alistair? The suspicious dim-witted one who was with you before, yes. He is outside by the fire. Mother asked to see you when you awoke. Thank you for helping me, Morrigan. I... you were welcome. Though Mother did most of the work, I am no healer. I have some questions, if you don't mind. I do not mind. Take your time. Are there any survivors besides us? Only stragglers that are long gone. You would not want to see what is happening in that valley now. Why? What's happening? Are you sure you want me to describe it? I wouldn't have asked if I didn't. I had a good view of the battlefield. It is a grisly scene. There are bodies everywhere and darkspawn swarm them, feeding, I think. They also look for survivors and drag them back down beneath <clears throat> the ground. I cannot say why. How did she manage to rescue us exactly? She turned into a giant bird and plucked the two of you from atop the tower, one in each talon. If you do not believe that tale, then I suggest you ask Mother yourself. She may even tell you. Why did your mother save us? I wonder at that myself. But she tells me nothing. Perhaps you were the only ones she could reach. I would have rescued your king. A king would be worth a much higher ransom than you. I happen to be nobility, you know. I stand corrected. As you should. Uh, are we safe here? Where are the Darkspawn? We are safe, for the moment. Mother's magic keeps the Darkspawn away. Once you leave, tis uncertain what will happen. The Horde has moved on, so you might avoid it. I think I've asked enough questions. I agree. Tis time you speak with Mother, then be on your way. Hmm. Got it. Do, 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 do. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, key required. Okay. Let's hold down tab. Okay. I guess we'll go. See, here is your fellow Grey Warden. You worry too much, young man. You... you're alive. <laughs> I thought you were dead for sure. I'm fine. I appreciate your concern. Oh, this doesn't seem real. If it weren't for Morrigan's mother, we'd be dead on top of that tower. Do not talk about me as if I am not present, lad. I, I didn't mean... But, but what do we call you? You've, ne you've never told us your name. Names are pretty, but useless. The chastened folk call me Flemeth. I suppose it will do. The Flemeth? From the legends? Daveth was right. You're the Witch of the Wilds, aren't you? And what does that mean? I know a bit of magic, and it has served you both well, has it not? So why did you save us? Well... We cannot have all the Grey Wardens dying at once, can we? Someone has to deal with these dark spawn. 
It has always been the Grey Warden's duty to unite the lands against the Blight. Or did that change when I wasn't looking? It changed when most of them were slaughtered. If you think small numbers make you helpless, you are already defeated. But we were fighting the Darkspawn. The King had nearly defeated them. Why would Loghain do this? Now that is a good question. Men's hearts hold shadows darker than any tainted creature. Perhaps he believes the Blight is an army he can outmaneuver. Perhaps he does not see that the evil behind it is the true threat. The Archdemon. Alistair is the real Grey Warden here, not me. All Grey Wardens in Ferelden are gone. Except for us. I've lost everyone. For the love of the Maker, don't back out on me now. Oh. Mm. Oh, pull it together, will you? Maybe it would help to think that it could have been you out there. We can't let their deaths be in vain. What? What is this? Uh, no. What could the Terran hope to gain by betraying the king? The throne? He's the queen's father. Still, I can't see how he'll get away with murder. You speak as if he would be the first king to gain his throne that way. Grow up, boy. If Al Eamon knew what he did, he would never stand for it. The Landsmeet would never stand for it. There would be civil war. Arl Eamon? The Arl of Redcliffe? I suppose. Arl Eamon wasn't at Ostagar. He still has all his men. And he was Caelan's uncle. I know him. He's a good man, respected in the Landsmeet. Of course, we could go to Redcliffe and appeal to him for help. Surely there are other allies we could call, huh? Of course! The treaties! Grey Wardens can demand aid from dwarves, elves, mages, and other places. They're obligated to help us during a blight. I may be old, but dwarves, elves, mages, this Arl Eamon, and who knows what else. This sounds like an army to me. So can we do this? Go to Redcliffe and these other places and build an army? I doubt it will be as easy as that. <laughs> and when is it ever? It's always been the Grey Warden's duty to stand against the Blight. And right now, we're the Grey Wardens. So you are set then, ready to be Grey Wardens. <sighs> we're going, old woman. Don't push us. Such a tone to take with your rescuer. What short memories. Now. Before you go, there is yet one more thing I can offer you. The stew is bubbling, Mother dear. Shall we have two guests for the eve? Or none? The Grey Wardens are leaving shortly, girl. And you will be joining them. Such a shame. What? You heard me, girl. The last time I looked, you had ears. <laughs> Thank you, but if Morgan doesn't wish to join us... Her magic will be useful. Even better, she knows the wilds and how to get past the Horde. Have I no say in this? You have been itching to get out of the wilds for years. Here is your chance. As for you, Wardens, consider this repayment for your lives. Is this your idea all along? Pardon me, but I had the impression that you two needed assistance, whatever the form. Not to look a gift horse in the mouth, but won't this add to our problems? Out of the wilds, she's an apostate. If you do not wish help from us illegal mages, young man, perhaps I should have left you on that tower. Point <laughs> taken. Mother, this is not how I wanted this. I'm not even ready. You must be ready. Alone, these two must unite for Eldon against the Darkspawn. They need you, Morrigan. Without you, they will surely fail, and all will perish under the Blight. Even I. I... understand. And you, Wardens. Do you understand? 
I give you that which I value above all in this world. I do this because you must succeed. Hmm. I understand. Allow me to get my things, if you please. I am at your disposal, Grey Wardens. I suggest a village north of the wilds as our first destination. It is not far, and you will find much you need there. Or, if you prefer, I shall simply be your silent guide. The choice is yours. No, I prefer you speak your mind. Ha <laughs> ha, you will regret saying that. Dear sweet mother, you are so kind to cast me out like this. How fondly I shall remember this moment. Well, I always said, if you want something done, do it yourself. Or hear about it for a decade or two afterwards. I just... Do you really want to take her along because her mother says so? <laughs> uh, we need all the help we can get. I guess you're right. The Grey Wardens have always taken allies where they could find them. I am so pleased to have your approval. Actually, I have some questions. I may have answers. Ask. What skills do you have exactly? I know a few spells, though I am nowhere near as powerful as Mother. I have also studied history and your Grey Warden treaties. Can you cook? I can <laughs> cook, yes. <clears throat> Never mind him, you don't have to cook. You missed your chance. Now it's Charred Rabbit from here on out. Are you really Flemeth's daughter? Twas she who raised me, and thus I consider her my mother, born from her womb or not. Tis what you meant, yes? It's just difficult to imagine her. Young, married, pregnant. Who said she was any of these things? I certainly did not. Have you, have you ever been outside the wilds? From time to time. I have been to the village I mentioned, watched its people, and pondered what curious beings they are. On occasion, I purchased goods from the village merchants. There I spoke with men a little. There they stared and knew me as an outsider. Mother wishes for me to expand the horizon of my experience beyond the wilds. Even she was not born here. Is that what you want? What I want is to see mountains. I wish to witness the ocean and step into its waters. I want to experience a city rather than see it in my mind. So, yes, this is what I want. Actually, leaving is harder than I thought, however. Perhaps Mother is right. It must simply be done quickly. Tell me about this village to the north. Tis a small place of little consequence called Lothering. No more than a stop along your imperial highway where travelers purchase goods from local farms and smiths. I would go more often were it not for the town's chantry. It makes the village particularly intolerant and unpleasant for a stranger such as me. A chantry? And they never in all this time thought that maybe you were a witch. Of course they have. They even called out their Templars once. They found nothing. Is there any reason to go to Lothering, then? I mention it for its tavern, where travelers gather with news from other places. Tis small enough that our appearance might go unnoticed. Beyond that, tis close, and I know the way. How are we going to get past the Darkspawn? The real question is how we are going to get your friend past the Darkspawn, is it not? That's true. We can sense the Darkspawn. Conversely, they can sense us. I don't sense any Darkspawn. You won't right away. No. It takes time. We should be able to sneak past smaller groups, but larger ones, or particularly intelligent Darkspawn, will always detect us. Mother has given me something else for them to smell instead as we pass by. It is important we head out of the wilds, however, not farther in. The Darkspawn are camped further into the forest? They come from underground, like an eruption. 
They broke through deep within the forest, and that is where they will be most concentrated. I have no more questions. Farewell, Mother. Do not forget the stew on the fire. I would hate to return to a burned-down hut. Bah! Tis far more likely you will return to see this entire area, along with my hut, swallowed up by the blight. I... All I meant was... Yes, I know. Do try to have fun, dear. <laughs> Alistair disapproves again. I, Ruby just can't make this guy happy. Alright, Morgan. Let's check out your equipment. Enchanter's footing. Enchanter's arming camp. Cap, excuse me. Okay. Tactics. Oh. Controller. Being attacked by a melee attack, Winter's Grasp. And lightning for that. Um, nearest enemy. combat. Don't want you getting close if you can avoid it. Alright, I guess we're ready. Save it. And I think I'm going to save it here and leave. Cut, make this be the cutoff point. This is Moonstalker at that place for walkthroughs. Traveling with Ruby Kuzlin and Dragon Age Origins. Catch you on the flip side. I'm going to make sure I save that. Yeah. Save. Alright, that's it. Catch you later.